Assalamu alaikum viewers, welcome to my channel Genome Wide Study. If you are new on my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all the new videos. In this video, we will talk about protein similarities because in particular, the structural similarities between protein is a very good predictor of functional similarities of that proteins. If the two proteins have the same structural or have some similarities in structure in their structure so we can predict their functions proteins with similar sequences are usually homologous typically displaying similar 3d structure and function and the sequences or sequence similarity searches of the proteins can identify the homologous protein or genes by detecting excessive similarities because if we want to find out that how much similarities among these proteins have so we can also if the protein have the more similarities among their sequences so we can also say that they are homologous and then we can predict their function on the basis of that similarities and it is also commonly believed that similarities between the sequences of two proteins infers similarities between their functions and also their structure so how we can find the sequence similarities among the multiple proteins or between two proteins Let's start. For example, these are my proteins and these are their sequences. And I want to know that what is the similarity among the sequences of these proteins and which two or more proteins are more similar to one another. So simply copy so here is the name of the protein and this is the sequence then the name and the sequence I show you like here that this is the name and here is the sequence then the name and sequence name sequence so in this way you can arrange your sequence then select all or control A and copy or control C. Then open the TB tool. Go to others, phylogenetics and protein pairwise similarity matrix. So here you can go to paste input. Click here. then paste your sequence that you have copied control v and also click here text output and then click on compute when you click on compute so within second or less or mean minute depending upon the number of the sequences and the length of the age in sequence it will give you message compute finish so click on ok so your result will appear in this box here is your result so you can place here a cursor and click and then Control A or select all, then Control C or copy and open any Excel sheet and then press here and Control V or paste. So here are the similar, these are the gene names and here are also the gene name and this is the similarity index. This is the 100 means these are the similarity between these among within the gene. But this is the uh, similarity of my this gene with this one 
and this is the similarity between my this gene with this one and you can make it more visible by making the heat map in tv tool or also in excel by selecting this gene and then go to conditional formatting color and here so through this you can also see that the maximum number of similarities between two protein is green so here you can say that the, these two genes that the gstf7 and and one have the maximum similarities among their sequences or here this gene that uh, 10 and 4 have the 98 percent similarity it means that these two genes have share the same structural and also function so in this way you can find out the similarities between or among different protein sequences and then you can predict their function and structure so this is all about how we can find the protein similarities on the basis of their protein sequences hopefully it will help you if you have any query please comment don't forget to like comment and share thank you